Hello guys and welcome back to a, another episode of the BMG modding tutorial series here on my channel and in this episode we are going to tackle the glow maps. Uh, simply sets glow maps just allow you to switch different materials out depending on some kind of value, some kind of function from your vehicle. The most uh, yeah obvious use case for that would be your lights turning on depending of on whatever kind of well lights should be turned on to your inputs. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to do uh, this headlight right here in today's episode to demonstrate it. Um, yeah, obviously, if we want to have materials, we obviously need to get them. Uh, yeah, onto the 3D file, and yeah, I've just been here in Blender and assigned a new material to those, uh, yeah, two cylinders that I've used as headlights. And every single material that should change independently from others uh, should get its own material. So, yeah, all right, and yeah, you can see right now I have the uh, basic material here for tutorial headlights. So, to get our glow maps, we just go into the main slot of a vehicle and there we will define all the glow maps for all the different kinds of use cases on our vehicle. So, let's just go ahead, create this section right in here. Now, we'll create a new glow map. Um, yeah, I'm just going to call it tutorial underscore headlight and in here we will now have to create some kind of uh, way to calculate when uh, yeah the different materials should should swap uh, we're going to create those materials a little bit later uh, for now we'll just imagine that we already have them. and we do that using uh, just a simple function And how this simple function works, we have uh, something that's called electrics, which are basically just different values uh, the game uh, gives you to work with for these glow maps. And yeah, you could find a list of them or a link to the list of them uh, in the description, so you can um, yeah see what kinds of uh, values or electrics, as they're called, there are. Um, for this one, we're going to use the low high beam because that's what uh, defines what the yeah light setting is and we're going to use the high beam why do we use these uh, two right here uh, well let me just show you if the sum of these two um, we're going to well Okay, we're going to assign a value to each of those two and they're basically multiplied with uh, the electric value. So, for example, in here we're going to just put 0 0.49, uh, 0 0.49. And so if now low high beam turns to 1, this will now mean that we add 0 0.49 to our total value. And if this val total value is zero, that means we will have the off material present. If the value is somewhere between zero and 0 0.5, then the on material will be visible. And if the value exceeds uh, 0 0.5, then we'll have the on intense material visible. So we're going to put in 0 0.49 right, uh, right here. And that will mean if we turn on the low high beams, it will put this, uh, this value will go to 1, meaning we get 0 0.49 as a value in here, meaning we are uh, greater than 0, but um, a smaller value than 0 0.5, which will mean the on 
material will be visible. And then if we turn on the high beams, um, it will add those two values together. So then we have 0 0.98 and then that's obviously greater than 0 0.5 and the on intense material will be visible. And I'm just going to name these. Um, and for those, and for the resulting materials, we will. For those materials, we will we'll use the same one for all the different lights. Um, yeah. Because we don't want to create um, a, a, any every single material three times, basically. Uh, there will be just way too many materials. So we have one material for all the lights. And, well, three different ones for the different stages. Alright, I think we can now reload the vehicle. There you go. Now you can see there's no material there. Because right now it is um, has replaced the tutorial headlight material with... The tutorial lights material we don't have that material yet so let's go ahead and create it uh, yeah, let's copy it okay let's reload there you go now we can see it right there i'm just going to put this up i have um two textures and you technically only need two textures um so let's go ahead and click it on okay. same thing here and now that um this is obviously something that should be like um yeah emitting it's something that emits lights the lights turned on so we have an emissive map here and i'm just going to put in yeah the emissive map right here it's called with underscore g and I also need to turn this to white so actually the emission is actually visible. And same thing with the intense light. Send that to white too. And yeah. Now if we press N and we turn on the low beams, this has now swapped the material to the tutorial lights on and in that material um, from our perspective the right light is shining and if we press it again the left one turns on and yeah that is basically how you make a glow map in UG. Uh, a last thing I want to say is that there are some values in the electrics that are a range uh, and here with uh, yeah high beam for example high beam is just a value zero or one if the high beams are on it's one otherwise it's zero other uh, values like for example break have obviously they have a range from zero to one so they could be anywhere in between depending on the break input just so you remember that when you do something like brake lights. Uh, yeah, alright, that's all it for today's episode. Uh, I hope you guys uh, learned something new. Uh, if you did so, I would suggest subscribing to the channel to not miss any future episodes and like if you liked, dislike if you didn't, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.